If you are an Autodesk subscriber, you need to watch this video. Clinton, tell us about the Autodesk Drive. Well, first of all, Joe, it's lovely to be here. Thanks for the opportunity to meet with you. Your Autodesk Drive is a sub technology that any subscriber to Autodesk products is entitled to. It's not a product, it's an entitlement. It's a, it's a functionality, if you like, within PowerMill, FeatureCam, uh, PowerShape, PowerInspect, Fusion, Inventor, you mm -hmm. name it. Autodesk Drive is a, a cloud-based storage management tool. Um, so in its simple terms, it allows you as a PowerMill user to save your PowerMill projects on the cloud um, and allow other PowerMill users that you give access to to log in and see your PowerMill projects. They're not necessarily using PowerMill to do that, but they can effectively log in to Autodesk Drive with a, an internet browser and see your PowerMill project. So it's not a storage tool, it's a collaboration tool. It's both, I guess. It's, it's both. It is a storage tool for you, so you can store your projects on the cloud. Uh, but more than that, it allows you to collaborate and share that data mm -hmm. with project stakeholders. So typically it's going to be um, customers or suppliers, um, and they can open up, as you can see on screen now, a PowerMill project, and not just interrogate the model, measure it, they can actually dig a little bit deeper than that and start to look at the contents of the project, mm -hmm. tool paths, tools, feeds, speeds, stepovers. How has that component been programmed and by collaborating, make informed decisions about how the part should be cut? That would be great, great for like, um, A, you can send it to your clients for potential sign off of prototype components. Mm. But for me, send it to your tooling supplier. This is how we think. What do you think? Have you got a better um, way of producing this component? Yeah, you don't want to send. You don't want to send all the all the information, but the the limited information they would require to produce a tooling list is perfect. Very much so. And and we build on Autodesk Drive with something called Shared Views, which which offers kind of similar functionality. With Autodesk Drive, you're giving somebody access to the entire contents of your PowerMill project, and that could be a little bit overwhelming in some cases. Let's say you want to give somebody just a little snippet. Um, I'd like your advice, dear tooling supplier, on this strategy for cutting this feature. Well, to address that, we have shared views functionality. Again, that's an entitlement for any subscriber to Autodesk products. So what shared views allows us to do is to capture a little window, if you like, of, of the model and your tool paths and share that with a secure access rights to anybody. So it could be a project stakeholder like a customer, a supplier, yeah. whatever. And the key thing is that we're not sharing the actual model. Your IP remains controlled. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is creating a 3D view of that data that you can share with anybody in a controlled so, way. So if I had a fi those features are quite straightforward, but if I had a tricky, if I had a tricky um, feature I, I wanted to machine, I could just isolate that one feature. Mm -hmm. I could even put it on LinkedIn saying, help guys, what's the best way of machining this feature? You could do that. LinkedIn is a is a public platform, so yeah. you have an awful lot of comments on sure. it. But yeah, there's nothing stopping you from doing it. Yeah, but that. if it's just a feature, there's no issue, is there? Absolutely not. You know, yeah. please advise me. How would you cut this part? What tool would you use? Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Failing that, you, you send it like we said before, the tooling supply. You could send it to the end user of that component for potential sign off of a design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, collaboration is key. It's uh, if you think back to the old days before we had the internet and cloud. Uh, if I wanted to get the comments on a power mill project from a colleague, unless they were sat right next to me, I would have to save the data, mm -hmm. maybe create a setup sheet, print that out, or email them an HTML file and say, this is what I'm thinking of doing to cut this part, what do you think? With this drive, shared views, I've got the power of the cloud to sort of collaborate with anybody, mm -hmm. anytime, anywhere. You know, you could be sat on a beach somewhere with this smartphone, and I could send you a link, and you could have a look at the data and instantly give me the feedback that's relevant to the project. For sure, and I think maybe if you'd done this five, eight, ten years ago, pe people were scared of the cloud, weren't they? But but now they're not. We, we we all use the cloud every day. We do. I mean, we take it for granted. I bet every single person watching this video at some point today has had the smartphone. They've been on Facebook. They've done some banking, YouTube viewing. We use the, the cloud so much every day of our lives. Um, why can't we use that same? functionality, the power of the cloud for something far more important like manufacturing parts. Absolutely, and it's secure of course. It is totally secure, yeah, we, we, we grant, uh, we provide the ability for you to say I only want certain people to have access to this data and at any moment if you think you know what I want to take that access away, easily done. And Autodesk, you seem to be doing quite a bit with the cloud now, but I'm presuming you're just getting started in, in months and years to come, probably all your products will be in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of technology that um, is ideally suited to going on the cloud. The cloud at the end of the day is an infinite computer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's so much processing power there. So, yeah, we've got some pretty amazing ideas in terms of what we can do with the cloud moving forwards. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching.